Welcome to Kai Ora. I'm just finishing off my table setting here. I've got three beautiful people coming. They're as diverse as opera and polyessence. My food today is just so scrumptious. Stick with me, you'll just love it. Well, in the pataka today, I've got a school of fish. Well, that's what it looks like because look at this tamuri here. Check those eyes out. You will not get them any fresher than this. Fantastic. I'm going to cook them on a bed of rosemary on my grunty grill. I've got some venison here with these cherries and onions. I'm going to make a swish little dish out of that. I've got chicken over here. I've got lemongrass that's going with it. Beetroot, kumara. I've got figs for dessert. The works. Let's get on to the first dish. I can't extol the benefits of beetroot enough. It is one of the best root vegetables in the whole wide world. It is full of goodness. It has the mineral silica in it, which is great for bone growth. It is great for detoxifying, and it's great for our tummy issues. Te tino kai mo te haora o te tinana, te beetroot. Ka kina ki atu ki te tihi o te nane koti. Reka rawa. I'm going to make a beetroot and feta salad. So what I've done, firstly, is I've chucked these beetroot into the oven. It takes about 20 minutes in a medium oven. Look at that beautiful colour of the beetroot here. Sometimes you can leave the skin on because with most vegetables, all the goodness is just under the skin. Cut these up into quarters, like this. Okay, we'll pop them on this dish here. Put this beetroot in the middle. Now that beetroot is just a little bit warm. It doesn't matter if it's cold because this is actually a warm or a cold salad. You can have what you like. I've got this onion here that I've peeled. Just take off the nono here and here chuck it away and I'm also going to cut this into wedges. I've got a thing about wedges, I love them. So cut this off. It's going to be a very, very colourful salad. With this cucumber, I'm just going to peel some of the skin off. I'm going to keep some of the green, cut it up into strips, chop it up like that. I'm going to rip some rocket into my salad. Just tear it up like this. I've got some thyme here that I'm going to sprinkle over. A bit of dill here that I'm going to tear over this. Again, you can see how simple it is to make beautiful food. Very little effort. Here I've got some lemon juice that I've already squeezed out, so I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. You can use verjou here, you can use vinegar if you like, and then put my feta cheese over the top of that. Place it on the dish, just like so. And to finish this dish off, I've got some sage here, and I'm going to crisp the sage up in my fry pan, a little bit of oil into it. What I like about this is that you're going to have that crispy texture from these sage leaves. Oh my God, if you do this, you can smell that sage. It is just wonderful. Put it back on the heat for a bit. There you go, they've all crispied up now. Put them over the salad like this. It's going to have that crunch going on, all these different textures and flavours. And last 
thing to do is sprinkle some fantastic New Zealand olive ends oil over the top. Be generous. This extra virgin olive oil or any extra virgin olive oil is very, very healthy for you. And there we go. A bundle of health. My next dish for the lads is a poached chicken and coriander dish. In my pot over here is two cups of homemade chicken stock. I've had it on the element and into it I'm going to put the root of the coriander here. Just bash it up a little bit because I'm going to poach this chicken in the root of the coriander and also with this lemongrass here. I'm bruising it so the flavor is going to come out of there and just cut it up like that. Chuck it in here. You can see that's homemade chicken stock because I haven't strained it. I just felt like having real body in my stock today. So that's what you see in the base of my pan here. Onto the stove it's going to go. I can smell the coriander and I can smell the lemongrass in there and it's only been on for a little bit. I'm going to pop these pieces in here to poach. I'm not cutting it up. I'm going to poach them whole like this. Put that back on the stove. Turn that right down to a gentle, gentle simmer. Put the lid on. I'm going to simmer it for about two to three minutes and then I'm going to turn it off so that chicken poaches in the warmth of that stock. Now while we're waiting for the chicken to poach in the water there, I'll finish off the dish. Unlike the last cucumber that I've just done, I'm going to take all the skin off this one. Cut them into long strips like this. And chop them into pieces like so. And into there. A little spring onion in there as well. Fire it in here. The leaves of the coriander. Pop a little vijou in there. Toss that about. Change my board over. Bring this one in because I'm dealing with the chicken. Look at this chicken. Perfectly poached. Just cut these into pieces like this. I'm going to wait till that cools down and combine it with my mixture here. Lime zest on the top for a bit of garnish and you know for a bit of colour pulling out the old mild chilli. A bit of zing and there we go. Fabulous poached chicken, coriander and cucumber. Try it, you'll love it. Now you noticed that big tamuri in my pataka, didn't you, before? Well, look, here it is again, this big number here. And you know what? I'm fusing the traditional with the funky. I'm going to cook it on my grunty, on a bed of bay leaves, a bed of rosemary, splash a bit of the Olien's extra virgin olive oil on that, make three slices in here. I'm going to rub this thyme into these slits and this dill, because we're going to have a very, very herby tamuri for lunch today. I'm going to pop this on the grunty like that. The rosemary and the bay leaf are going to take the brunt of the heat, so it's not going to burn the underside. I'm not going to turn this over. I'm going to salt and pepper at the top. And inside, I'm just going to throw thyme sprigs into here, like that, and douse the top with extra virgin olive oil. 
We'll just leave it there and come back in a moment. Sure it is. Hey, oh. he's in. Hey, in. Awesome. Di me pili te ropu saidel ngā toa waiata Pacifica beat. Jack Burke he tangata waiata engari kaua e tēnei rā. Here we go, Jack. Here we go. Right. Well, do yeah. tuck in. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. How is your sounds are so sweet. Thank you. Fantastic. You've been together a long time though, haven't you? Mm. Um, 17 years now. Mm. You and Jack and Dee are all from the same neighbourhood. Yes. Absolutely, that's right. And you've only just discovered just that. Just discovered today. Oh, yeah. Today. Mm. Mm. Today. <laughs> how small the world is. Yeah, mm. especially with the genre that um, Jack, mm. you know, Jackson was, was operating. Yeah, mm. just really honoured to have a brother like that mm. that's come from our town. True. To know someone like yeah, yeah, because yeah. we're labelled you know R and B so far. R and B like, hip hop, you know, and um, with the genre that Jack's doing, it's um, it's great for. Uh, we can add it to the collection yeah. of yeah. names. Yeah. Yeah. Not harder. <laughs> yeah. A good nurturing ground for the future. Of um, New Zealand music, I reckon. Yeah. Mm. And it's wonderful to see what you guys are doing back home with with the youth and, and your trust mm. and everything. It's um, yeah, thanks, bro. Noble. Well, we got we got some great news to take back. You know, we we'll talk about Jack and how he's been to Italy. Yes. And did some um, higher education in, uh, in the United States. That's 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 good. That's mm. amazing. You know, it, it encourages our kids. I mean, in all ur urban towns and areas of Aotearoa, that you know, dreams are real. Yeah. <laughs> well, you went to um, the States last year, was it? Was it last year that you went? Yes, we went to the United States last yeah. year. Yeah. Did you lovely. perform over there or did you just go I'm to sorry, I'm, in, I'm just enjoying the food. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do the talking, I do the eating. <laughs> I second that. <laughs> well, hurry up because that fish I've cooked over there is mm, beckoning us. I've got to get back to the kitchen. Why don't you sing a little song mm. while I've gone? Mm. And I'll Sounds be good. back as quick as lightning. Well. It'll, yeah. Your music will beckon me back. Mm. <sighs> Spread up, boys. Oops. Cheers. 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 Would you be so kind? All I need is a few minutes of your time. So I could tell you that it would be so nice, yeah, yes. To see your beautiful face each time that I arise, baby, yes. Cause it's been a while since I've seen a simple smile. Girl, it drives me wild. I can't contain myself any longer. Yeah. What is a king upon a throne without a queen to call his own? No, no. How can the world of riches be so cold? So cold. Oh, oh well done. Kia ora. Okay. Wow. That was so gorgeous. When I was in the kitchen organising our fish, I just, thought, I just had to stop. It made me cry. Oh, Truly. It was beautiful, guys. It was Truly, amazing. you made me cry. Thank you. That's us. God, I don't fantastic. need to go on YouTube. I'll just call you guys up, come around to my house, and you can sing for me. Because mm -hmm. he'll sing for you. Exactly. Or should we be cooking? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Good in there. I'm in there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> It's really crazy because we've been in the industry for about 17 years and we finally released our debut album last November. Last year. So. Well, hey, you've done it. Mm, I'm going to have to buy your, your album. Can mm. you get it anywhere? 
can get it um, just on the ready, uh, real groovy. Yep. Real groovy, right, right. Yep. right. Or just um, go on to Bebo or, um, or MySpace. Uh, MySpace. We'll oh. have more details. Hmm. We're on iTunes as well, so. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to hop back in there because I've got this really awesome dish. You're going to really love it. Okay. Beautiful flavours. And I'm going to say, do you mind again? Absolutely. Little song as I Definitely. go off out. Could you do that? Don't want yes. no okay. more trouble. Oh no. Have a couple you of more mouthfuls first. I'll give us some bubbles. Test it. Yeah. If you can see what you can be, top dog in your own society. Yeah. Cause I ain't locked down no more. In this pan here, I have caramelized these shallots. I'm going to put these shallots into my pot here, like that. I've put it into a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And into that, put a cinnamon stick and a few cloves. Now, in this bowl, I've got some port and some pitted cherry juice. Pour that into my shallots, cloves and cinnamon here. Put a little bit more port in there. I'd say about a cupful. I've got a little bit of beef stock here, a quarter of a cup. I'm going to put it onto my stove and I'm going to let that reduce down. Right, now with this venison, I'm going to cut it in half. Now venison, is low in cholesterol. It has the same properties as salmon. It is very, very good for you. I'm dicing this venison up into cubes. There's a little bit of flour here, probably about half a cup. Then we're gonna put salt and pepper in there just to season it. And then just coat these pieces of venison because we're gonna sear it very, very quickly in the fry pan. And that's all we need. Just a very, very quick sear like this. Don't overcook it. Here's my sauce. Combine the two. I'm going to put it onto a bed of crushed kumara. I've had two kumara, that's one there, in the oven. Cooked it in its jacket because all the goodness stays in it. Just peeling it off like this and crush it up. Just like this. You can mash it if you like. That's lovely. My hands are spotless. I'm going to plate this up. Crushed kumara on the bottom. I'm just going to Spoon my glorious Savina onto my plate. What a stunning dish. Isn't it gorgeous? What do you think? I play the role I best collect your loyalty. If you can see what you can be top dog in your own society yeah cause i ain't locked down no more and if y'all don't listen then you would know what i'm talking about this is beautiful man oh, and come on let's get tuck into this oh. Singing for our food, that's what we're singing for our kai. Oh, soul, babe. Full of soul. Love it. You're mm. feeding us. Jack says with his mouth full. <laughs> mm. I can't get over this venison, mate. This is beautiful, eh? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. That'll inspire you next time you go out hunting. I have to take some cherries and. Cherries in the backpack shot. and. Um, and the waterfall, you have to have the water yeah. feature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's to Kaiora. It brings yeah. people together. Much success and more success to Kaiora and exactly. whoever's yeah. involved in it. You ready for that, Waiata? Yes, we are, Anne. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to Singing leave. for the dessert now? Yep, you're singing for the dessert. And you're warming me up. Was that the champagne? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, yeah, oh, yeah. Special to me, it keeps me warm. warm, warm, warm. Not only on the outside, outside, baby. on the inside, too. Yes, it's such a great feeling. It's such a great feeling babe. to know someone cares. Oh, yeah. Someone you can trust and know Gonna be right there, yeah Take it to the bridge You're not going to get a dessert any fresher than this. Straight off the tree, straight on there, straight into our pukus. Cut them in half, like this. Put them in my organic sugar here. I'm gonna put a bit of oil onto my plate here. I've got to be very careful because it's very, very, very hot. And then pop these on here. Got to be very careful because the sugar can burn on the plate. Ooh. The boys are over there having a nice little old time. I'm going to squeeze orange juice over the top. Chuck a bit of Grand Marnier over that. More orange flavour. And then quickly get them off there because you know what? They're ready. I'm going to throw some orange zest over the top. A little bit more orange juice. There we go. A simple dessert straight off the tree. You couldn't get any fresher than that. Until she returns. Until she returns. We'll be waiting right here. Say what, say what? Waiting right here. Not so long. So please keep me warm, love is warm, warm. Wow. Mind blowing. What do we have here? I Interesting. Could whip these things up. And off your tree. Hmm. From the tree to the plate. Wow. Let's put the whole lot in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Trust Anne. Trust Anne. She knows okay. what she's doing. <laughs> I'm trying to look good because all the cameras are on, you know? <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry. They're, 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 they're wishing they were in your position let's, right now, buddy. Yeah, let's <laughs> keep it real, eh? <laughs> oh. Wow, this is... Mm. The front look good. Keep your head up to the sky And wait for the sun to rise I know that things ain't right Matia. Kua tai mai ki te wā ki te tuku mihi Koi nei te whakamutunga Mō kai ora mō tēnei wā Righteous souls win each and every day I've been the struggle I've been the pain No more, no more today If you could see if you can see what you could be, top dog in your own society, yes. Te mihi tuatahi ki aku manuhari i whai wā ki te haere mai ki taku tēpu kai, ki te kai i aku kai. I kai tahi, kani kani tahi, waia te tahi, kōrero tahi hoki tātou. 
He wa tino pa reka reka kiau. Nā te kai i tūtaki ai tātou, a te wā ka kite anō mō tēnei wā aroha nui. That's how you bring us home. Different levels of life, but we still have a life. Oh, I see the single on the same street selling her soul so the children can eat. The system's got to change. System's got to change. Oh, oh, oh.